What's up guys? The Megapixel War is officially on. Samsung just announced its 108 megapixel camera sensor, the Isocell Bright HMX. It's the first mobile image sensor in the industry to go beyond 100 megapixel. It's already been confirmed to come with the Xiaomi Mi Mix 4 and now it's coming with a Samsung phone as well. Next year, Samsung will bring major camera improvements to its phones. Apart from the Note 11 and Galaxy S11, we're going to see some drastic camera changes across the Galaxy A lineup. So according to the latest leak, we have full camera specification for the whole Galaxy A lineup. Yes, these are going to be the naming scheme for the A series next year. Because it's S11, the number starts from A21 all the way to Galaxy A91. And as you can see in the table, we've got full camera specs as well. So this year, the minimum camera setup for the Galaxy A lineup was a dual camera. But next year, Samsung will bring minimum of three cameras and a maximum of four cameras across Galaxy A lineup, which is crazy. So starting with the A21 all the way up to Galaxy A41, you are getting triple camera setup and then from a51 all the way up to a91 you're getting quad camera madness the most interesting here are the galaxy a81 and the a91 so you're getting 64 megapixel sensor with the a81 which samsung also just announced in collaboration with xiaomi it also has a wide angle lens a telephoto lens and a tof sensor and then the crazy 108 megapixel sensor for galaxy a91 remind you a91 is a flagship killer device this year the a90 is coming with snapdragon 855 chip so we can assume that next year a91 will also have a qualcomm snapdragon flagship chip along with this samsung will be making the 5g version of this model as well so with 108 megapixel this thing is gonna be super crazy also samsung has filed another patent for a galaxy fold phone instead of just one fold this tablet can fold as you can see in the renders it looks really futuristic obviously this will open a whole new world of possibilities i normally get super excited about things like these but after seeing what happened with the first batch of galaxy fold devices not just from Samsung, but also from Huawei. I'm not that excited about this because not even the first Galaxy Fold phone is in the market right now. It's still going through some changes and same can be said for the Huawei Mate X. This is all cool. This will surely happen in about two years, but right now I really want to get my hands on the Galaxy Fold. Also news regarding the Galaxy Note 10. Yes, it's coming really soon. I will be starting my coverage. But right now, this is what you need to hear. The Note 10 has the best display on on the market yes it doesn't feel a surprise anymore because samsung is just so far crazy good when it comes to displays they make displays for everyone oneplus apple xiaomi a lot of competitors use samsung displays so no dead not a surprise it has the best display and this time samsung has worked on making it the most color accurate as possible it's about 25 percent brighter than note 9's display and it's also one of the first phones to cover 100 percent of dcip3 color gamut used in films now samsung also scored the highest dxomark score which is at 113 even beating the huawei p30 pro by just a small margin thanks to its improved video performance personally i don't care about dxomark's results that much I know Samsung has a really good camera. It's going to be amazing for most people, especially with Samsung improving the night mode even further. But sadly, this lead will probably be short-lived because the Pixel 4 and Mate 30 Pro are set to bring some real insane camera gains this year. So if you're someone who is super serious about camera, you should probably wait for the Pixel 4 or the Mate 30 Pro or the 108 megapixel madness that is coming very soon. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the latest news and I'll see you guys in the next one.